entertainment critics. I am Antoine. I am Will to the Burke. Just got back from the movies. Uh, we saw Creed 2, the sequel, the sequel to Creed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <laughs> most people know Creed was uh is is a movie about uh it's wait, what the f- how many movies are we in the Rocky franchise? Shit. <laughs> Eight. Is it? Okay, it was five yeah. Oh, six Rockies. The plus this? Right, Creed and Creed 2. Oh, shit. We eight movies in in the Rocky universe. They might as well do like a shared universe like Man. Marvel. Shit. <laughs> yeah, they still behind. Okay. 30 years. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is most Does everybody know Creed? Um, the, uh, the first Creed. Uh, Adonis Creed. Well, Adonis Johnson. Yeah. That was his yeah, name. Johnson. And then, I guess he changed the creed. Yeah, not so, creed. Yeah, so Adonis was um, was the illegitimate child of of Apollo, which Apollo didn't even know this little dude existed. Nah, he literally <laughs> bust and wants to go fight. Wait, <laughs> wait, well, maybe was was he born or she was just pregnant? I don't know. You know, he could have already been born, and you know, he probably was a month. I mean, he was rich. You know, yeah. a lot of them got a couple, get a couple babies on the and side. Knew, but she knew about the wife. I mean, she knew about the side chick. Remember? Oh, I thought she found out about it like later. No, I think after she knew her about mother died, she found out or something. Which that's when she picked him up when he found when she found out that the mama had died. Oh, so she already knew that she, she already knew was out there. Yeah. Oh. So that was a nice thing, you know. Felicia Rashad actually. Did a good job, man. She, I, that woman, she got this way of talking, boy. I, I could never talk back to her. <laughs> nah. I don't know for some weird reason when I see her, I just think Miff. I don't know. I, oh yeah, she's look good yeah. too. She still look good. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, Adonis uh, was the illegitimate child of uh, Apollo. Now everybody know from Rocky, all the Rockies. Apollo was uh, Rocky's best friend. He uh, fought. Your boy Dra- Ivan Drago in an exhibition match in uh, Rocky IV, and he died in the ring. Yeah, Tragic. Man. That was <sighs> Rocky IV was like one of my favorite Rockies, but when I went back and watched it, I was like, damn, this motherfucker was just all montages. <laughs> <laughs> I think two was my favorite. <sighs> oh, because he won? Maybe. Hey, what? Three is underrated. <laughs> Hey, Clever Lane, I'm still holding out for Clever Lane. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, we pick up Adonis, um, like in the first one, uh, Adonis took his father's name and started boxing and uh, ended up fighting for the championship, which was the light heavyweight. But as you see in the movie, uh, he moved up to heavyweight. Man, he's the smallest heavyweight I've ever seen. No, he's not that small. <laughs> he put on a lot. Yeah, dude, that dude got big. Yeah, he got big, but he just boy, Michael little. G. Boy got big. Um, but, uh, okay, so where this movie pick up, your boy uh, Adonis is, uh, man, he's, he had uh, six, but he didn't get no, no title shot yet. He uh six wins. This is like a uh, couple years after the uh, first movie. Right. He's doing good. You know, he... Uh, uh, he undefeated in in the, in a couple of years, and he get his title shot, and then he won the title and his car back. <laughs> well, she said it's the only thing his pops left him. I'm like, for real? I didn't I didn't get that in the first one. I, I don't remember either. him saying that, but, but maybe or maybe he, that was his. How can they say he left it for him when he just it, it was he, he probably inherited it? Yeah, you know, once they get a DNA, you know, or whatever. His mom probably was like, "This is your dad's favorite car. You can have it." All right. So when he said your pops. Your pops didn't mean for you to have it. <laughs> but it's cool, though. <laughs> just, just take it with you. Just take it. Right. But, okay. Um, so, he uh, he riding high. Then he get a title shot. And he beat. And, and, and they didn't give him no speaking parts. I thought he was going to do some talking in there. I did, too. Uh, uh, Andre Ward had, was the, the, the champion. So, he beat him. And now you now he the champ. He riding high. Everything doing good. And then here come this big, this big Russian motherfucker come out of nowhere. The biggest Russian you ever <laughs> seen in your life. <laughs> Drinking vodka. <laughs> Challenge him to a fight. And guess who this dude is? Ivan Drago's son, Victor Drago. Dude. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about 
So that's pretty much your uh, your premise, man. Let's talk about some of the performances. Because I'm going to tell you like this. Now, I told I talked to you about this earlier. I really I really was feeling the dynamic between Ivan and uh, Victor. You know. Uh, yeah, that chemistry is real good. They had good chemistry. And they fleshed them out, too. They wasn't just... They weren't just no bad guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where where you kind of in the in the first movie, Ivan was just for real, just a bad guy. Right, <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Right. He, he didn't even say shit. You know, what I'm I started having some emotions there, you know? And I'm like, okay, that's what you need to do with these movies. You got to flesh out all your characters. If you give me a like basically they villains, but let me feel something, you know, let me feel their motivation. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that that's that's how you flesh your villains out. And um, for so, this country, turn their back on them. Right, right. When, basically, and that's what I was. I was thinking the um, what happened after that fight because he kind of disgraced the country and all that because it was in Russia. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <clears throat> and basically, he just kind of like said, "Hey, I got treated like shit. I came home and I was nobody. They nobody want to talk to me. Everybody hate me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and you, you know, you a hero or whatever. So I was wondering." Is he holding a grudge? Was he still? Yeah, he kind of holding a grudge. <laughs> yeah. But see, he, I, he ain't really hold a grudge to me because I kind of felt like, shit, he still wanted the royalty. He wanted to get back on top. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw that too. So like He wanted what was rightfully his. It, I, I think he ain't particularly holding a grudge against Rocky. He just more mad that he ain't on top. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it ain't the fact that this one man, it's the fact that I'm I'm no longer the dude that I was. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I no longer have the perks and all that shit. But I mean, like, damn, 30 years though. <laughs> it's like Still, he man. Hey, you could have done, you could have moved out the country, did something else then. <laughs> you could have trained. Or you could have been came out and made somebody fight. But you know, hey. Yeah, I mean, damn, rematch, bro. Rematch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go get the cement right now. <laughs> Like your fucking father did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now they like, talk to him like they talk to him greasy and shit. Like, you don't see that beat his motherfucker. I know. <laughs> it's like, what if, that dude would backhand Duh. your ass and your your fucking head will fall off. The shit was crazy. So yeah, I mean, um, basically that looked like Ivan. I mean, uh, Victor. Ivan's like just kind of poor now, and Victor working odd jobs, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Building houses with his bare hands. So I mean, <laughs> but he was still boxing. So right. he boxing, coming up in in the smaller venues and shit, you know, uh, which which is cool. And then you know, uh, Don is on top. You know, he fighting. You know, he uh, he a superstar, or whatever. But this thing, and this is the problems I was having with the movie. So let's talk about Donis. He kind of a. Uh, um, What's the word? Um, he's he's really an introvert because it's hard to see what he's thinking because he always seems like he always just kind of thinking. Yeah, like he don't he didn't like his like it seems like he keeps his emotions so bottled up, you know, which is which, cool. Which, but it kind of take away from the movie in a way because it wasn't like I didn't feel no I didn't feel no mm in this one. I didn't, you didn't feel no mm for him or you didn't feel no mm. Period. I feel mm for the other characters. Yeah, well, no serious. And that's what's hard. And that's what's hard for me to say because I feel like. The other characters were more fleshed out than Donnie, <laughs> and that's kind of and it's his movie. Yeah, it's, just, it, it, it's, it's definitely missing some emotion in there somewhere. Cause like you know, the first one, you know, he had to follow his dad footsteps. He wanted to. People didn't want him to fight. Rocky had mm-hmm. cancer. Right. Like the only thing we felt was just the daughter. But see, that, that was it. Right, right, right. And we'll get to that. But they wanted you to feel for. See, that's what. I'm, that's why. Donnie wasn't that compelling to be because they wanted you to feel for what Donnie was feeling. Yeah. Uh, and to me, it was like kind of, all right, let's talk about when, you know, when Victor took, when Victor challenged him, when he took the fight, it was kind of, kind of just kind of selfish ego, yeah. pride. You know, it was like ego and pride that right. made him say, I'm going to take this, uh, you know, uh, I can't let that, you know, what you saw on the trail, I can't let that ride. You know, he killed my pops. Like, like for real, dude. Like you, you didn't know nothing about that, but for real, right? <laughs> and then an- another issue, like, like didn't nobody, like you said, anybody feel like no villain? Like even the fucking promoter, he wasn't even a villain to me, and I thought he yeah. was gonna be on some sl- some shiesty shit. Right? I mean, they 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 and they downplay his character, what, right? They, three let, times? Let's see, but they kind of right. They didn't get that much screen time. They 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 made him 
they set him up to be kind of like that slimy promoter, but then they they also kind of made him just like, hey, I'm just a business. Yeah, man. like he's actually a really nice guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. like he's, I'm a car promoter. Like, yeah, yeah go call him. Call him for this fight. Like, he actually know what he's doing. I mean, yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I didn't feel though, because remember when I first said I was like, this snake ass nigga for to be on some shit. Right. His daddy is a, uh, you know, that's why I thought his daddy was an old boy point five. Oh, uh, <laughs> like, what did they like George Washington? That don't fucking know. Yeah, like, like three presidents' names. Dude, or some shit. I easily say Rocky Five twice. <laughs> I easily say Rocky Five twice in my life. That's it. Whatever. Boy, <laughs> touch me and I sue. That's all I know. <laughs> and uh, the line jazz you always do with Wild Boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Rocky, come on, yeah. man. <laughs> Either you gonna do this? Or you gonna... Yeah, you. I thought you were gonna... <laughs> man, look. It wasn't no theatrics, man. Everything was pretty much realistic. Yeah, it was just all business. Like, but yeah, but see, this what this is my thing. So I'm thinking, why should he take this fight? You know, I don't, I didn't feel because I wanted to be on his side. I wanted to be on Creed's side. Like, yeah, take the fight, fuck them. But I was like, I'm on everybody else's side. Don't take the fight. Right. You don't need this fight. <laughs> well, well, what should have happened was is Drago already had the fucking belt and he had to go to him had to go through him to get the belt that probably would have made it better but see why would you fight him then you know he got the belt you want the belt tell me if Drago had the belt Drago had the belt no no but see no no you you don't go looking for that shit (laughs) you you got it you face it when it comes to you but you don't go looking for Drago okay (laughs) you don't do that (laughs) Drago comes to me and I'm gonna tell tell you like this man victim dog that dude's a killer, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, dude, I seen dudes in movies that look big. They really made him look big. But that dude looks intimidating as fuck. You know what? <laughs> fuck it. I want him to fight Thor. Let's get him. <laughs> fuck, that. fuck the Hulk. He fight Thor. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and like I said, that was kind of my, <clears throat> that was kind of like some of my issues, man, where I, I wasn't feeling none of Donnie's motivation. Mm-hmm. And then, when he going through his stuff, you know, um, I mean, I don't want to spoil nothing, but he, he got his ass whooped. I mean, <laughs> you saw the trailer. He, yeah. You saw the trailer. He was kind of busted up. And yeah. I'm looking like, Rims okay, right. did you learn your lesson? And the first thing he did was blame everybody else and shit. Yeah. And I'm looking like, man, you big. Oh, that, got, that hurt me. <laughs> you got motherfuckers traveling to see your ass and you going to turn their ass away. Yeah, and, I mean, but... Not only that time, but he said some other hurtful shit. And I'm like, why are you trying to be so fucking hurtful to this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Just because you hear one thing you don't like, and the first thing you do is go low. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. That's what I didn't like about the character. And I'm feeling like, okay, when you do that, and he never apologized for none of this shit. No, he's I was waiting on him to come he's back. Like, I, exactly. <laughs> you, did you see that? Yeah, he's very spoiled. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what they trying to go with there. Saying that he is spoil you and he he's got to learn, but what did he learn? If you spoil and you get what you want, you stay spoiled. Right. Because <laughs> everything is okay, Donnie. Okay, right. Donnie. Right, right. And everybody. You okay, okay, Donnie? He got so many people in his corner. You got people that love him, people that's looking out for him, and he's still just all mad. What you mad about, right. bro? It's me, it's me against the world. What do you, Victor, fuck you mean? Victor had it hard. Right. <laughs> Victor, the, his alarm clock was a punch in the gut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wake up, bitch. And when he had to do his road work, he had to do his road work. It was a fucking, uh, what, what kind of car was that? It was a, uh, like a Ford Explorer just nah. fucking on his ass like. Did I, did I say run faster? Right. Bitch, run faster. <laughs> you heard me, dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where when Wedge Call started, he was behind the car. Yeah. <laughs> he worked his way to the front. That nigga was in the front in the beginning of the car. <laughs> when shit started. Oh, hey man, I even didn't play that shit. No. Nah. <laughs> shit was shit was amazing. But right, so that's what I was like, man, I'm feeling Victor more than I'm feeling uh Don- Adonis. Right. And that shouldn't be that shouldn't be the case. Cause I already know what's gonna happen, you know. And I ain't saying that I necessarily wanted Victor to win, but it's just the fact that um, 
you got to do something more with your main character. You know, yeah. you got to you got to have your main character. If you want me to be on his side, give me a reason. Because like you said, he just spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he and is. he just spoiled and he get mad when he don't get what he want. <laughs> I ain't mad. So don't, Why don't, are you mad? Don't ask me to uh, feel for somebody that do that. <clears throat> and like I said, when he didn't, when he, things didn't go his way, first thing he did was blame everybody else. Right. When everybody else told him not to do something <laughs> and it didn't go his way, your fault, your fault, your fault, <laughs> your fault. I don't want to talk to nobody. Right. Like, all right, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, just missing a serious emotion. It was just something that I wanted. I wanted emotion. I wanted like, ah, I didn't get that. I was, I was, I was, I'm telling you, the character they want you to follow is not that interesting. Honestly, I love the movie. I love the boxing in the movie, but Adon- Adonis, it's not that interesting. No, <laughs> he missing something. Rocky is way more interesting. Um, Rocky and, and, and kudos to Special Long. It's like he just he just, he, he just turned into Rocky, he's Rocky, dog. But you but see, it ain't like saying, "Oh, that's just him." No, because he played different characters all the time. I know, but when he Rocky, he Rocky, he Rocky. <laughs> and, then, and, and I didn't feel like he was no nobody else. So and kudos be, for him. He, he be slurring that, words. He still say stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> like I kudos call, to him. I, I call my hair. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shit like that, man. Like it's just natural. Like how do you just turn it on like that? But yeah, so good, damn good performance by Sylvester Long, man, and um, and a uh, pretty good and a good performance by Dolph Lundgren too, playing uh Ivan. Yeah. He was scowling a lot, but I mean, shit, he he's Ivan. <laughs> That's what he do. <laughs> Bianca, she is, she a great actress too, though. Um, oh shit, her name Tessa Thompson. Yeah, Tessa Thompson, was fine, fine, yeah, fine little thing. She um, like European, is she? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, you thought she was like British or something? Yeah. No, nah, she American. Okay. Woo! She got a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, something. Yeah, she don't. She don't. She she's playing for the. I think she she go both ways though. No, okay, so, well, yeah. All right. Well, that's another story for another right. day. So, <laughs> but now, um, but yeah, like I said, man, um, my thing was, Donnie was just kind of like you said, spoiled, and I just I wasn't really feeling I wasn't really feeling them but um but I was feeling other characters you know I was feeling uh uh Tessa uh uh what's her name Bianca I was feeling Bianca I was feeling his mom I was feeling Rocky I was feeling Victor I was feeling Ivan even his brother his um his uh his trainer yeah that's his brother no it's not his real that's his uh that was Duke's son that was uh uh Apollo trainer's son Throwing a damn towel, that's his daddy. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know. That's what they would show that picture. That was his dad. I thought. That was his gym. Yeah, I, I he mean, heard the gym from his dad, and Apollo uh, got started there. I that's why, because if you saw a, a part four, he was like, um, yeah, he was like, a, a, I, I trained Apollo since he was uh, since he was young. He was like a son to me, and we're going to get this Russian for, for the shit he did to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's, that was in uh, four. Oh, I thought that was his damn brother. No, so he wasn't his brother though, but they was like brothers. Right. <clears throat> so the damn top. Right. I mean, you know, and I ain't gonna say that uh, I ain't gonna just totally t- act like uh, Adonis was was nothing. You know, right. I, you know, I, I, he had good moments. You know, and and uh, Michael B. Jordan got fucking swole for this role. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they did some some good boxing scenes. So I mean. It was cool. It's just the training uh, was nice again, right? The training was uh, the training was a good touch because um, I guess I'm trying to see if I can say this without spoiling. But he trained in a different. I'd say he trained in a different environment than he did right. the opposite environment than he did in Rocky Four. But it kind of followed the same formula right. in Rocky Four. You just you you got to rough and rugged. You got to go with it, right? It, 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 it's almost identical though. Where half of the movie where it's like. You know, for the rematch, uh, we got to fight in Russia. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the only place that fight. <clears throat> you training in the gym, I'm training out in the elements. You know what I'm saying? But I like I like how they, how his training was like, dog, nah, you got to get rough. You got to take these hits. Right. Nah, and, man, even then. You got to get that meat. And you know what? That's, that's, that's a testament to Michael B. Jordan acting. But even then, I feel like Donnie was being a little punk where he telling the dude, he telling him, like, you got to take, take pain. To give it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? He was like, uh, 
And when he, he it seemed like he wanted to quit when he when he when it got a little rough. And then he was like, I ain't finna hold your hand, bro. Keep right. going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that, that's good training though. <clears throat> Get up, Donnie. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, it, it, it was it was a good ass movie. Well shot too. If I could talk about the cinematography, man. It's just like uh, things the shots like this, like, okay. When uh, Sylvester Long was like, it's time, kid, right? Mm. So they fade out from Rocky and fade into Creed. Yeah. yeah. That, that's like symbolic. Like saying, all right, I'm, my time is done. Now is your time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, that's 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 <laughs> that's good shots, man. Well well made movie. Very, very, yeah. very well directed. I like the, the point of view camera they had. Oh, with the fighting, he was fighting. Yeah, oh my dope. god! <laughs> and then like, cause he'll, he'll you'll see him going low, high, low, and then yeah. the, that's the punch you gonna get. They gonna show the results of both of them. Right. And then the camera turn real quick. I like that shit. All right, man. Let's let, let's give it a rate, man. Let's give it a rate. So, what you what you rate this dude uh, on our rating scale? Uh, it was alright. Nah, okay. I, wow. Nah. It's better than alright. It's better than alright. I can't give it no uh, what you call it though. Epic. I can't give it no epic. Dope. I, I can give it. I give it a dope. It can't get no epic. It can't get you no just epic. didn't get that feeling. I know it. It was like epic. It was like an epically shot movie. Everything in there that they did was epic, but it didn't give me that. I missed epic the emotion. Mo- it's not right, no you're emotion. right. You're right. It didn't give me that epic emotion, but it was a dope ass movie. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the reason why I didn't give you that epic emotion because the main character was not epic. Yeah. <laughs> the main character was just like a little spoiled dude, man. <laughs> I know. I, well, I'm going back to see it next week again, but mm-hmm. maybe it's not well, gonna change. I'm it. telling you, why did Rocky give you that epic emotion? Because Rocky was so Rocky just was likable. Right. Rocky was somebody that you wanted to root for. He was the underdog. He was the person that always couldn't do it, that they was told they couldn't do it. Everybody called him stupid. Right. Everybody talked about him and, and all this shit. He couldn't read and all that shit. He can't overcame all that. Dumbass commercials. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> we don't, don't go through that. <laughs> but we know he just, you, 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 you roll with him because you want to see him overcome all that shit. Right. Donnie had all this shit kind of handed to him. Yeah, he ain't you poor. Know he, he wasn't poor. And then, and then when some people try to tell him that, hey, this shit ain't gonna be easy, he get mad and snap on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's like, no, nah, dude, you need to drop all the bullshit, understand yourself, and then you fight your way out of it. And then I'm gonna start fucking with you. But if you keep on, and then you keep on snapping on people that got your back, that's that's also irks me. <laughs> yeah. and, but what irked me about that in this movie was. He never really made up for that. You know, it's like usually when, when you do some shit like that and, and you, all right, I never want to see you again. You know, we just, all right, we did. And then we get that moment like, oh, okay. And then we get that moment like, like, okay, we, 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 we boys, we, that shit wasn't even worth it. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we, we family. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. He didn't really have that moment where it's like, hey, I said some fucked up shit. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like the end had more. apologized. He had more emotion in the fucking whole movie when he went when he went and knocked on that door. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm feeling uh, that. Yeah, that was pretty good. I ain't saying it didn't have no emotion. I'm just it, telling you I didn't feel the no reason emotion. why you didn't get those feelings because the main character was not interesting enough no. to give those feelings. And I, I don't know what I mean. You know, maybe uh, I don't know what they could have done different. But I was like, maybe they could have had him a, a tough kid fighting. Yeah. Uh, fighting his way up instead of being uh, raised by Silver Spoon. Yeah, because yeah. you got to think he live in a mansion, got a uh, car, got a, a brand. Uh, it was an old school redone car. You know what I'm saying? Dude, kind of dude's kind of yeah, you know got it made. So I give it a dope too. I give it a dope too. We ain't gonna go all night. Um, I give it a dope. It was a, a well shot movie, well directed, well acted. Like I didn't have no problems with none of that stuff. I love all the characters. The boxing scenes was dope. Yeah. Um, but you just that one thing was missing that did not that did that did not push it to the epic. And that's it I don't I don't wanna say emotion, but I just didn't feel I just didn't have enough feelings for the main character. That's all maybe, I can say. Maybe Killmonger did it. Maybe he 
killed it. It ain't. It wasn't his <laughs> acting. It's the way they wrote this guy. It's the way they write this character. You know, uh, to me, they write every character better than him. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't understand. Like, if they made another one, what's what's the emotional attachment to make you want to pull on pull for him? I I know. I'm just saying. It's like they trying to be. Uh, this the next Rocky. You not the next Rocky because you didn't have to overcome shit like Rocky no, did. You did it Rocky all. was poor, uh, a, a poor, you know what I'm saying, dude that was a, a club fighter that was fighting for fifty dollars a night before he got his shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you a rich, poor kid that got everything handed to you because you was born into it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. gotta die. That's the only way the next <laughs> one gonna work. Uh, just like how Mickey died, probably. He I think, I think, cause I don't think he's coming back for the next one. I think Sloan's like, I'm done with this. For real? Yeah, I think so. So he got to be his oh, death. They're gonna do another Rambo though. He's working on another Rambo right now. And I, yeah, well, I his skin ain't gonna look too tight, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> he already look all. Man, what was that all when I had <laughs> pulled the skin back and, and put uh <laughs> like a safety cl- uh, 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 a clothes hanger on it? What the what fuck? The fuck? Talking about the man in black or something? No, oh. I know that. <laughs> It was somebody's skin was loose. They put a clothes hanger on the back to keep their skin. That tight. probably was some Simpson shit. Yeah. <laughs> that probably was true house of horror shit. No, it, it wasn't. That. It was funny though. Mm. I'm but, gonna look it up. But no, okay, uh, we're gonna wrap it up. But uh, it was a dope ass movie. Please go see it. I'm telling you, you're not gonna be disappointed. All right. Um, I wish it could made it to the epic, but uh, dope is a good rating. <laughs> yeah, they all can't be dope. I mean, all, all, all of them can't be epic. I mean, right, 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 right. All right, so uh, appreciate y'all for checking out the video. That is our review. And um, subscribe to the channel, and we out of here. Peace. Peace.